What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, dude. Today, I honestly, this is like a Snapchat type video. I, I'm like a veteran when it comes to this stuff. I used to make so many videos back in the day and actually like my fifth video that I ever posted on this channel was like a Snapchat video. I'm gonna go ahead and post a little bit of the snippet. Look at the how bad the quality was on this video. It was like a three minute video. Totally butchered the quality, it was horrible, but I learned a lot since then and I think the quality might have gone up a little bit. I don't know. I, st I, I, don't, I didn't even think I was gonna be here this long. So I have to thank all my fans for that. Obviously, as the title says, I'm gonna show you some some secrets there's some new ones some not new ones there's a stupid dog outside but before I even do that I actually posted on my snapchat story which I never use my snapchat on this thing I never use it but recently I've gotten into it a little bit so if you want to add me go ahead but I posted on my story I was like reply to the snap and I might call you on tomorrow's video all right so I want to go ahead and I want to call some of the fans that messaged me back and pretty much said it was okay to do it so I had a couple people, not too many. I need to get thousands of views on my Snapchat like before this update. And now this update, I get like a hundred views on my Snapchats, which is so annoying, which is one of the reasons why I don't use it anymore. All right, let's go ahead and call this dude up. Let's see what he's saying. All right, he's not gonna pick up. Let's go to the next person, I'm Flurry. Okay, he never really said it was okay. All right, let's call this person. All right, this guy didn't pick up either. Man, nobody's picking up. All right, let's call this person. Let's, let's, let's see what's going on. All right, this person didn't pick up either. Bro, no one is picking up. <laughs> Come on. All right, let's call this guy. <laughs> Yo, what up? Yo. Yo, what's up, dude? Am I on YouTube? Yeah, you are. What's up? Say something. What the uh, hi. What's up? I mean, it's not live. I'm it's from a... Sweden. Yeah? Your biggest fan, man. Yo, for real? Yeah. Hey, thanks for the support, man. Have you seen PewDiePie up in Sweden? And he's from Sweden. Oh, bro, that's sick, man. All right, man. <laughs> Good to hear from you, man. I love you, dude. All right, that was fun. <laughs> Let's call this guy. God, I wish people would pick up the phone. I can't believe that last guy picked up. Okay, he's this, this guy. Said, I know this guy's gonna pick up. See, I wanna, I wanna toss to my fans, but no one's <laughs> picking up. Okay, this person to pick up either. Let's go. I'm kind of. When it's a response like that, I kind of like take it as a. Hello. Yo, what's up? What's up? Dude, what's up, man? I'm, I'm, I'm happy, dude, that you replied to my Snapchat story. <laughs> this was totally unexpected. <laughs> Talk to me, man. What's up? Well, how, how are you? I'm good. Good. That's good, man. I'm, I'm happy to hear from you, man. I'm gonna let you live on, but it was good talking to you. Dude, I freaking love talking to you guys. You guys are my favorites. So, so far, two out of like 10. This might be the last guy. I just can't keep doing this all day. Oh, the guy's talking to me back. <laughs> That's funny. Yo, what's up? Huh? Hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? It's going good, man. How are you? I'm pretty good. That's good, man. Tell, tell me something funny, man. I don't know about something funny, but we're on our way back from... Uh... Oh, oh, I know. We were touring the campus. Oh, you're touring the campus. Oh, bro, that's awesome, man. What are you What, what are you about to do there? Um, well, I actually, like, with the program, you can skip a couple of days a semester, but I already skipped so many that I kind of just had to go. All right, bro, good talking to you. I love you. Keep up the hard work. All right, so that's pretty much it. Literally, I could literally talk to you guys all day. That's awesome. So three out of like 10, 15 that I talked to. So not a bad start. By the way, again, if you want to add me, that's the name. That's the snap code. Go snap me. I might call you one of these days. Who knows? And of course I had to blur out everyone's name and everything to keep it all confidential and whatever. So now going into the actual, someone's calling me now, but I can't do it. But some of the ones that I originally put in here, they ended up not working, which is super annoying. I hate when that happens. But I'm gonna go through some of the basic ones first that you guys already know. So if there's like a song playing or something, you guys already know the Shazam one. All you have to do is hold down the screen. It'll pick up the song and you can tell like, okay, it's camera search or whatever. So if I hummed a song, hopefully I don't get a copyright strike from it, but like just beat it. Just beat it. So obviously it's not gonna work here, but if you were into a place with songs, it'll obviously work. So that's a quick one. I think most of you guys already know that. One of the ones that actually was, as soon as I read about it, I'm like, what the heck, I never knew this. This is totally going to affect my life. It's actually within the Discover page. So as you guys know, Snapchat updated their thing. So it's like all the Snapchats and your stories are on the right and then everything else on the left. And then they switched it up. So then everything was on the left then and only Discover page. And now they added it back in. What you can actually do within the Discover page is delete some of these rows or delete some of these things that you don't even watch. So let's say you don't like Kylie and Travis Scott for some reason you can hold this down you can actually click hide daily mail so if you just click hide daily mail that actually go away so you don't have to deal with that stuff anymore and you only look at stuff that you actually like so let's say you don't like Takashi 69 or anything you can go ahead and click here and click hide uh, whatever now this one is very important I want you guys to go support my bro little Nas X he's my bro me and him believe it or not okay I was about to DM him when he had like 
3,000 followers on Twitter and I was gonna ask him to collab with me on something, on a song or something, I don't remember, because he made that meme song and then I was literally about to click that button and DM him, but like, I don't even wanna do it. I should have done it. We were both would have been popular, but it's all right. So that's a big one right there. You can go through your whole entire Discover page and figure out what you want to do from there. Now this next one is kind of interesting. I don't think a lot of people are going to vibe with it. So let's say you have a photo like this, okay? And you actually want to remove the Nexus 5 logo thing right there. Now this is kind of is a hit or miss. It doesn't work every time perfectly. But what you can do is, it really just depends on the photo, but you can go ahead and hit the scissor icon. You can highlight exactly what you want in that specific corner right there. Hopefully it's something that's a little bit similar. You can go ahead and highlight everything else right there. And what you can do is go ahead and take this piece and kind of position it so it kind of lines up with everything else. Now, like I said, it's not 100% perfect, but you go ahead and do that like maybe once or twice more. And what you end up getting is an actual image that I'm not gonna lie, it's not 100% exact like I said, but it's pretty close. And this is only for like an emergency if like there's something there that you really don't want it to be there, but you want it to kind of look like something that should have been there. Of course it doesn't look 100% perfect, but if you put a filter on it, I'm sure it'll look a little bit better. And for some dumb reason, when you put a filter on it, it doesn't even change the back filter. So that's so stupid Snapchat. But I've used this so many times and that's a quick little thing. Of course, like if you use like full on Photoshop things with it, it's not going to work out properly. But small little things, I did one earlier on my desk too of like kind of cropping out a MacBook piece and it actually looked pretty good. So that was pretty interesting. Now this next one is something that I have on all my phone every single day that I use it. And it's basically saving battery life and data without even do you really doing anything. And I think this actually helps out with the background refresh as well. So all you need to do is go into settings. You wanna click that settings icon up there. Then what you do is when you would click underneath additional services, you wanna click manage, and then you'll see something called data saver. So all you wanna do is you just wanna go ahead and click that. You want to just go until turned off, that's usually what I would recommend doing. Of course, you can send it up for a smaller amount, but that's a pretty big thing right there. Like I said, that saves battery life and it saves data. And I don't know why they hide it so deep in there. Well, I know why. Mostly it's because of the background services. So while you're not using Snapchat and it's in the background, it obviously refreshes things and everything like that. But this still refreshes your story. So I don't understand why they have it turned off in the beginning with. It should be something that you could use, but I guess that's one thing that's pretty important. And of course, there's the main ones that everyone uses as well. You can put on multiple filters. So you want to like use this filter. All you have to do is just put down your thumb and swipe to the right or left. And you can go ahead and throw on another filter if you want, such as this one. And you can even throw on another filter on top of that one. It really just depends what you're trying to go for. But this is what I usually do. And I'll be honest, bro, I haven't used Snapchat in a long time. I've been, I've been on like a social media detox recently, which is interesting because I'm doing this video now. But I'm only doing this because A, to talk to the fans and B, because these videos are blowing up again. So... <laughs> And those are some of the main ones, of course. The best one you can do is just go ahead and just hold it down and just go ahead and delete Snapchat altogether. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other tips, tricks, whatever for Snapchat, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that don't mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it don't mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.